I think, we, again, I think the Congress uh, needs to get to the bottom of it, and I think the White House has to provide those answers, but it has to be done on a bipartisan basis. Um, seeking the truth should be a bipartisan pursuit. Republicans can't be overly political about it, and the Democrats can't be overly dismissive. They've got to get together. I mean, we've had crises, we've had scandals in the past, we've been able to transcend them mm -hmm. by virtue of working together, hand in glove, to get it done. And that's what needs to be done in this instance. When you think about Benghazi, I mean, men and women's lives are at stake in right. the Foreign Service. I worked on these issues in the 80s. I co-authored the legislation that created the Diplomatic Security mm -hmm. Bureau, the Regional Security Office, and the Accountability Review Board. And now we're seeing examples, once again, uh, that demonstrate that we haven't learned from the past events. And something ter went terribly wrong. What's been the reaction to your book, Up on the Hill? Have you had a good reaction? Well, I haven't heard from you know, my former colleagues. I mean, people have been positive. Um, Do I, they want to hear this message? Well, I, I think so, because there are a number of people, both in the House and the Senate, that want to work together and get things done. They understand just what you said is that it's, being pol it's the politics over the policy. It's become mm. a perpetual campaign. There used to be a time, Pierce, where the first year after the election, you sat down with the president and the Congress, mm. you synchronized the agenda, and you plowed through the issues. That didn't mean to say that you I, didn't I have I just think everyone's debates. in permanent election mode. If they and are. And at the moment, they electioneering are. in American politics means attacking. That's right. So everyone's in permanent attack dog mode. They it's are. like reservoir dogs. No, it, no, and it's And I think true. the national interest of America is not being served. No, it isn't. It's to the detriment of this country. That's why I decided to write this book. I wasn't planning on writing a book uh, when I made my announcement not to seek re-election. I'm glad you did. Because I want to make the point to the American people, this is the time to change it. They have to change it. And there are ways to do it in real time mm. through the technology that you use so well. Yeah. Absolutely. People can do it. Just as those who fan the mm. flames of polarization, we ought to be able to do it together and seek bipartisanship and demand it. Otherwise, say, you know what? You're out. I totally okay? agree. We don't have a budget. In you are speaking my language. Well, actually, Thank you're not you. really, but, but you sort of are. Um, yeah. It's English, isn't it? It's a common it's language. Um, Fighting for Common Ground, yeah. How We Can Fix the Stalemate in Congress. Terrific book. I urge everyone in Washington, never mind the viewers, Washington, go and read this book Thank and wake up to what is happening. Thank you very much Thank for joining you. me.